Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? I'm back. Let me stop playing. This is a serious video. All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about um money. What is money? Money management. And why you don't have money. Or why is it a struggle for you to get money. And how to attain more money. Everybody wants money. Everybody needs money to maintain their lifestyle or do what they want to do in this world. They made money. They made money. Um what you need to be free to travel to pay for food to to for everything so even though you necessarily don't need it because animals and 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 other insects and beings don't operate with money we need it because this is how our system our uh civilization is being ran off of money so what is money money is currency what is currency? Currency is energy. So money is energy, no matter if it's dollar bills, euros, pounds, cents, coins, whatever it is, money is energy. It can be exchanged for something. You give me a dollar, I'll give you what I got. Or I give you a hundred dollars, you give me what I want. So money is energy. So the best way to require money is to Put energy to where you want your money to come from. So, let's say you have a job, all right? You're just doing this job just because you need money and the job is paying you $10 an hour. Now, you might have put in some energy for that job, felt out the application, handed in your resume, they called you back, you went on an interview. And boom, now you're working this job. It's a dead-end job. It's really not going nowhere. You might get a promotion. You might not. But your job is paying you based on how much energy and effort you put into that job. So they're paying you what you're worth, whether you like it or not. So if you apply for a $10 job, you told yourself, you told the universe, you're worth $10 an hour. It's energy. You put that energy out there. I'm not applying for a $10 an hour job. I'm not worth $10 an hour. So never will I apply for $10 an hour of a job. No, because my time is way more valuable. My energy is way more valuable. You get what I'm saying? So you're dealing with energy. You're dealing with magnetism. You're dealing with attraction, law of attraction. So in order to figure out your money problem and figure out your solution to your problem, you have to study yourself. Um, what are you good at? What are you not good at? What problem can you solve for other people? Everybody in this world has a problem that needs to be fixed. Whether it's their cat that they need neutered or, or trained, or whether their car broke down, whether they need their hair done, whether they need to learn how to speak another language. Everybody has a problem, and your service is how can you solve that problem? Now, if you're solving small problems for people, like stocking shelves, you're gonna get small results. If you're solving big problems for people, like helping them get financially freedom, you're going to get big results. You're going to get big rewards for that. So if you're helping people escape reality, as far as drug dealers, they help people escape reality. So they sell them drugs. And depending on how good they are, depending on how much effort and energy they put into it, they become successful at being drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? Some get greedy and go to jail. Money is not evil money is not bad money will not make you bad money will not make you good money is neutral money can be used for bad money can be used for power and control or money can be used for good for charity for helping for a number of things you put your own energy on money you put your own spin on money your own take on money what you want money to do for you so that that whole saying money is the root of all evil that's a lie because money is nothing but a piece of paper just like this right here it's nothing but a piece of paper this paper is not evil this paper is not making me kill you and go buy guns my own thoughts and intuitions is making me go do that you know what i'm saying so money is not evil at all money cannot change somebody and make them be some something there wasn't already before they got that money you get what i'm saying it just might give them an opportunity to exaggerate it more 
So if you're a good person and you find you're yourself a good person and you find yourself running into some money or getting a lot of money, it'll probably make you even a better person because you already was a good, humble person before you got money. If you're a bad, conniving, jealous, envious person and you ran into a lump sum of money, it'll make you 10 times that. So money makes you who you are just exaggerated a little more. You know what I'm saying? Just amplified. Um... Now, let's talk about energy. Remember, we said money is energy. Let's talk about energy. Energy likes energy. You know what I'm saying? So, if I'm sitting at home and I'm not doing nothing and I'm not putting my energy towards anything, money is not going to come to me because I am not putting no energy out there. So, try to visualize, try to, try to visualize it as um, energy is all around us. Everything is energy. Everything is an idea. Everything that you see right now. Somebody thought it is. They thought, dang, I want to make a dry erase marker. It was an idea. They put energy toward it, and they put so much energy towards it that it made it solid. It became physical. Now, boom, we have a dry erase marker. Same exact concept with money. Okay, you have an idea in your head. Dang, I want to do music. Dang, I want to draw. Dang, I want to do this. I want to travel the world. Okay, these are the ideas. Now, how can you take your ideas and manifest them and make it solid so it's making you money? So... There's, there's solutions to all types of ways to make money. You just got to figure out your problem, figure out where you're going wrong, figure out how are you solving these problems. Can you solve other people's problems? Get people to pay you for solving their problems. You get what I'm saying? So you just got to be creative and you got to be disciplined and consistent with it. You can't give up. You can't start a project and then, and then drop it. There's no consistency. That energy level has to stay like a current. It's currency. That's why they call it currency. They got to keep flowing. They got to keep flowing. And um, sometimes y'all don't y'all, y'all run into money and don't know how to properly manage the money. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people love to buy, 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 buy. We live in an economy where everybody's buying, 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 buying. You're making everybody else rich. Learn to save first, then spend. Save first, spend later. You get paid, you working at a job, you get paid. Okay, every paycheck, put $150, $200 to the side. Now you only got what? $100 to spend or whatever, how much you ever get paid. You know what I'm saying? You saving first. Make sure you save first. Every check you get, save. Then spend. Because now you will only be spending enough for your bills. Now you will only be spending enough just to get by. But you're saving. So if this job falls through, if an accident happens, if anything, you have money saved up. Sooner or later, you're going to forget that you're even saving this money. It's going to become a natural routine that you go back to your bank account or wherever you're saving your money. And you're like, damn, I done saved $10,000. But if you're getting your check and you're buying this and you're buying a shirt every week and you're buying food or every, just because you got money or you're buying this or you're going here or you're going out to drink or you're partying with your friends trying to turn up, you will never watch your money pile up. Your money will never pile up. So money is energy. The same way you can create energy, you are energy. That means you are money. You are a walking million dollars. You are a walking billion dollars. You just have to tap into you and figure out how you can manifest your money. If you're going to work for somebody, cool. Go work for somebody. Be the best at that. How can you solve that job's problem? They hired you to do a job. Do a job and look for problems that you see in the company and try to fix those problems. I guarantee you they give you a raise. I guarantee you they say, you know what, you're worth more than this. We we boosting you up. We want you to become manager. We want you to become we want you to become supervisor. We want you to become way more than what 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 we hired you for. You overqualified now. So look for other people's problems and try to get people to pay you to solve their problems. You know what I'm saying? Look for your problems. If you can't, if you don't want to help other people's problems, look for your problems. I say look for other people's problems because guess what? Everybody else got money. Everybody else got money and you don't. So if you're trying to solve your problems, it's going to take a long time to pay you. Look at everybody else's problems. Okay, this person need their grass cut. Okay, this person need their uh, car fix. Okay, this person need a ride to work. Okay, this person need to lose weight. Look for everybody else's problem. And figure out a way where you can solve their problem. I guarantee you they keep coming back to you. Back, back, back. Because you're helping them. You're helping them. A wise man once told me, if you can't be used, then you're useless. So, 
make it to a point where somebody's using you, but they're paying you to use you. They're paying you what you want for them to use you. You know that they're using you or they're using your service, but you're getting paid what you want for that service. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you could use me as long as you're paying me what I need to get used for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, what, what you need help with? Okay, my time is worth this. My time is worth that. Are you trying to lose weight? Boom, I got something for you. Come on, let's do it. Let's go on the water fast. Let's do this. I charge $50 an hour. You can get paid just from talking. There's so many different ways where you can get paid, where you can make money that you don't have to get up every day and go live out somebody else's dream and go work to build somebody else's company and make them a millionaire. You have all the power inside of you. You have to stop being scared and neglecting your own true power. Believe in yourself. Speak these affirmations. All of this is energy. I will be a millionaire. I am a millionaire. I have a million dollars. Start acting as you are a millionaire. What do millionaires do? What do millionaires go hang out? You living and you embracing the moment of being a millionaire. Even if you ain't got the million dollars yet, you got the million dollar mindset, you got the million dollar heart, you got the million dollar actions, you got the million dollar savings plan, you got the million dollar everything. And guarantee you, if you keep that same current, that same currency, that same energy level, it's gonna have to happen. It's gonna have to. It's gonna have to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, these are little jewels and tips that I learned on the way. You know what I'm saying? I done been up and down. I done had money, lost money, had money, lost money. And all this was a lesson to teach me everything I needed to know about gaining money, keeping money, saving money, managing money, credit, debt. It's always teaching me. Because we need the money to survive and play this game called life. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's saying you got to wait till you die to go to heaven. You can have your heaven on earth. But how much energy are you putting into having your heaven on earth? How much energy are you putting into creating your own wealth? Or are you creating wealth for somebody else? So this is your boy, Riley Young. I might make another video talking about it. Uh, talk about credit. Talking about debt. How important it is. Um, money management. I might go deep into that. Savings. I might go deep into that. But this is just a little video of me just touching on each topic real quick. And just to open your mind and give you an idea of what you not noticing and and, and and give you an idea of how to go about things. Don't be discouraged. Don't let fear sit in your head. Don't let doubt sit in your head. You are a million dollars plus more. You a billion dollars, a trillion dollars. Just by you being alive, you a billion, trillion dollars. Now, how can you already, how can you, with that being said, how can you manifest that into reality? You already here. Now how can you manifest the money here? How can you manifest that billion dollars that's inside of you into your hands? How? It's easy. You gotta figure out your flow, your frequency, your energy, your current, your currency. You gotta figure it out. It's there. Stop being scared. Stop waiting on somebody to give you something and go out there and get it. Go help people. Go help people. See what they need help with. See what's in demand. Bring it to them. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Riley on. Peace.